Hi thinkers, welcome to the data structures in Java course on Thinkex Academy. In this tutorial, we are going to start with the deletion inside of a linked list. So we will delete a node at a particular position inside of the linked list. So in the previous tutorials of this course, we have already studied how to insert at the start and at any particular position. So now we have uh, this linked list. So, so for uh, now, if I will run this program, you will see that uh, we have a linked list which has four, three, two, one. So here I need to let's say delete one node. So the resultant linked list will be four, three, two. And similarly, if I remove three here, I will have four to one, right? So let's see what are the steps of removing the uh, link uh, the node inside of the linked list so first of all i'm going to just create a uh, delete method which will delete any particular element so let's start by deleting three from this linked list so now what i will do is i will just create this method delete inside of our program here and we are passing the value so i'm going to create this value here and now what i'm going to do is we have to write the algorithm we have to write the steps the code to uh, perform the deletion right so let's take a look at how we can do that so here you can see i have this linked list and now let's say i want to delete three right so step one is to actually we want to reach this node right so i will write the first step which is to reach the desired node right and the trick is that if we reach the desired node so here you can see uh, our desired node in our case is three. So now what we do is we try a while loop, which will start from the first position and we will create a pointer, which will be a temp pointer, right? So this temp pointer will keep going to the next element. And you can see whenever we reach a position, so when temp will get reassigned to this one. So first temp was actually pointing here and now it will point here. So now when it reaches here, I will just write inside of the while loop and if case, so if the value is equals to equals to three. So what I'm going to do is I need to delete this element, right? So you can see that if I want to delete this element, I have to do two things. First, I want to reassign this um, this reference here, which you can see from four to three. So the resultant, uh, the resultant linked list will be four, then two and one, right? So what I want to achieve is I want four should point to two and two should point to one, right? So this is the linked list that I want. So here, if I want to remove this, the first thing I want to do is I just want to reassign this reference here, which you can see here, right? I want to reassign it to two, right? So you can see that if I want to reassign, I don't have any reference to this node because temp is pointing to three, right? So I don't have any way to actually use uh, or access this next reference, right? So the trick here is that instead of checking the, uh, temp, the value at the temp position, we are going to check the value of the next position, right? Uh, so what do I mean by that? So let's say we are at uh, this position, right? So let's say temp is pointing here, right? So what I will do here is uh, instead of checking the value of uh, three for this node, I'm going to check the value of the next node, right? So if I'm at four, I'm going to check what is the value of the next node, right? So you can see the value of next node is three, which is the desired node, which we want to delete, right? So the trick here is that instead of pointing to the node, which we want to delete, we are going to stop at the previous node, right? Uh, so here, if I want to delete three, I need to actually point to the previous node, which is four, right? So we will uh, we will uh, write the code and then now we have easy methods to be able to reassign these references, right? So now you can see that I need to just reassign this reference, which is temp.next, right? So I will just write here that the temp.next, which is this reference, I need to assign it to temp.next. So temp.next is pointing here. So I'll just write that this is actually temp.next, right? And this point, this node here is actually temp.next.next, .next, right? So I want to reassign temp.next, which is this reference right here right i need to reassign it to temp.next.next dot .next, right so i will write here temp.next .next becomes temp.next.next .next .next, right so once i do that you can see now if i try to traverse this linked list we will start with head position then we will reach four from four we will reach two and then after two we will reach one so we won't have three in our linked list so you can see here we will get the required uh, linked list which is four to one uh, so this is actually step two which we have done which is an important step but you can still see that three is actually pointing to two, right? So it means that we need to actually make sure that this reference is actually destroyed, which is temp.next, this reference we need to destroy so that it is no, no longer linked with this uh, link list, right? So if it is not linked with the link list, we are able to successfully delete that, right? So let's see how we can write the code and do this. So there is one more important case. So what will happen if we have deletion at head, right? So let's say we want to delete four. Now, in order to delete four, it is very easy for us. We are just going to reassign the head to point to the next element, right? So let's move on to the code and let's see what we can do here. So the first thing is I will create a temporary pointer. Now, this pointer is responsible for iterating in our linked list and it is actually equal to this dot head. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a if case here, right? And in this if case, I will say that if the head dot data equals to equals to value, which means that uh, the node that we wish to delete is actually at the head position, right? Which is the first node. So if that is the case, what I'm going to simply do is I'm going to reassign head, right? I will say I'm going to reassign this dot head will be equal to or ju just make sure that it's head. Head will be equal to temp dot next, right? So temp was pointing to uh, head position. 
right, which you can see here. And now our head is now pointing to temp.next, right? So now our head is pointing to the next element. So now our link list will start from two and one, right? So what will happen if we don't have, the, uh, if we have this case, we're just going to reassign head and then we will return out of here. Now we are going to write the code, which will actually do the deletion at any uh, specific position. So let's say we are not at the, uh, we don't, uh, we do not have the value of the node that we wish to delete at head. So what we're going to do is we are first going to stop when the temp becomes equals equals to null and we will write an extra uh, condition here, right? So we will write whether the next of temp is also not equal to null, right? Now this is important because we are actually trying to check the value of the node and uh, of the next node, right? So you can see here if my temp is pointing to four and I'm checking the value of temp.next, right? So if temp.next is equal to null, it means we don't, we have not found any value. So we are going to end the while loop, right? So that's why I have this condition which says temp.next is not equal to null, right? So now what do we need to do is we just need to write a temp case which will say that if the next dot data, right? So which is the next node, so you can see here if temp is pointing to four, we will check the data of temp.next, right? So if temp.next has a data, which is equal to the data of value, right? So if it is the value that we want to delete, we are going to now perform our deletion step. So I will write here the deletion step is to reassign temp.next equals to temp.next.next, .next, right? So I can do that. Now remember that we also want to uh, release this reference, which is the next of three. So for that, I will have to, you can see temp.next will change. So temp.next is actually going to change. So if I will write temp.next.next, .next, right? It will not, uh, it will actually point to this value here, right? But we don't want that. So we need to store some uh, temporary reference here. So I will create another reference, which I will call as a delete node reference. And this is the reference to the node that we wish to delete. And we know that it is actually temp.next. Right. So now m dot next is actually this value three. So what I can do is after doing this, I can just say that d dot. Right. So we have delete node dot next, and now we can reassign it to null. Right. So now it is not going to point to our uh, link list. Right. Any nodes in our link list, it is not going to point. So that is the final step. So this is an important step, which is to preserve the reference of the delete node because it will get reassigned by this temporary uh, dot next. Right. So. Uh, that, that's the main reason we are preserving the value. So if we are actually trying to access this element, right, we cannot access it by traversing. So we need to create a reference to it. And that's why I've created a reference delete node. So delete node dot next will be equal to null, right? Now let's try to run this program and see whether we are getting the right result. So here I will just run this program. And here you can see that uh, we are not actually getting any results. So maybe we are actually uh, running into an infinite loop. So the reason is that I have not made made sure that temp points to next, right? So temp should also point to the next value. So in the while loop, we will have to make sure that at each and every iteration, temp points to the next next value, right? So I'm going to run this again. And now you can see that we have four to one. So three is actually deleted from our node, right? Now let's try to delete uh, more elements. So if I write four here, and now if I try to run this, you will see that four is removed from the head. We have three, two, and one. And similarly, let's try to delete the last element, which is one. And if I will hit run here, you will be able to see that one is removed, right? So we have four, three, two. So similarly, we can remove more elements by making a call to this delete function. So that's all for this tutorial. We'll see you in the next tutorial where we will start with the W linked list. Thanks for watching.